<laughs> hey Vikings! Hey Vikes! Episode 14. Welcome back! Get that! Ew. Get that out of get my face! Out. Get it out of my! Face. Let's all show our home screens. <laughs> okay. Our okay. lock screen. Our um, lock screen. Our lock screen. It's me, my friend James, and then my friend Lexi. I edited this picture myself. My friend Angelina took it on a disposable camera. You can't even see it anymore. My, and then I edited it. Mine's me and Eric, of course. Ivy's like I. Hate I'll take my phone. I'm vaccinated, so no mask. Um, Thanks, just let me know. Don't don't cancel me. Uh, mine's me and Chelsea from a track meet like a year or two ago. And then this is oh uh, you had a you had a tweet from Kodak Black. Oh, <laughs> it's it's her and Alan. As you can see, I am the only single one here, but that's okay. It's my senior year. I'm about to leave, so I got bigger and better things. Oh. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> let's begin with our first video. Our first video is actually kind of on that topic, you know. So what do you call your significant other? It was a man on the street done by Chloe and Ivy. Per usual. It's all we do, man on the streets. Um, but please, enjoy. Okay, hey guys. Um, welcome to another man on the street with me and Ivy. Today we're asking people, um, what do you call your significant other? So let's get started. So our question is, what do you call your significant other? Irrelevant. <laughs> so we have a little bit of an audience here, but anyway, our question for you is, what do you call your significant other? I don't have one. If you did, what would you call them? Wait. <laughs> I'm here with... Eric. And our question is, what do you call your significant other? I, I personally like my love. That's that's my favorite one. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Um, In case y'all didn't know, we are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're here with Jordan. Um, what do you call your significant other? Um. If you don't, if you don't have one, what would you call them though? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Stupid, probably. <laughs> okay, what do you call your significant other? Anna. <laughs> we are here with? Tobias. What do you call your significant other, Tobias? Nothing. Nothing? What do you mean? Like, what you, wait. Restart, restart. By their name. Like, what, whatever their name is. You're trying to set me up. I'm not stupid. Hi, I'm here with? Mark Alvinson. And what do you call your significant other? <laughs> so, Chloe, what do you call your significant other? Um, I call my significant other like baby and stuff. Fair enough. Yeah. What do you call your significant other? Don't baby? ask me that question. We just got that. I mean, set. like, if you had one. I don't know. I like my love. I haven't gotten that far. <laughs> okay, moving on from <laughs> my sadness. <sighs> Didn't you just love the senior celebration, guys? Thank you so much to the people that showed up. Our second video today is going to be about senior celebration. And um, it, yeah, it was really fun. Congratulations to Larissa and Ryan for winning our senior celebration king and queen. And yeah, right next we have like a recap of senior celebration. It, count how many times it says senior celebration in like the last 30 seconds. So many. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, um, and but yeah. It was very surprising because like they said okay let's bring up Ryan let's bring up Larissa here and I thought they were gonna like 
um, bring out all of the um, candidates for prom queen or senior celebration queen or senior celebration king. And um, they just called me and Ryan up there. I was kind of very surprised. I was like, oh, this, this is happening? This is, oh. And I didn't expect it at all. I honestly thought that um, Danny or Bella was going to get it. And whenever they announced it, it was me, I was very happy, very surprised. And yeah, they just crowned me, kind of took pictures, kind of awkward because like no one was there. <laughs> but listen, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, I think confidence and kindness always. It's honestly been a ride. Um, my freshman year, I came in knowing like next to no one. Um, because you know I came from the ballet academy and then uh, sophomore year some people got to know me had a couple of friends because of the dance classes and then I think my junior year was kind of like whenever I started hanging out with more people and being more outgoing um, and then I also uh, joined the star dance team so that really helped um, as well but yeah, going to games and doing pep rallies and everything, that was just like the highlight of my high school career, I swear. Can you just make Jordan do it? Oh, our third video <laughs> is... You should just make Mr. Vaccinated do it. Yeah, yeah. you can play with Jordan from here. Um, as stated in the video, in past videos, it's hot ones, hot wings, spicy, hot and spicy, enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Hey Vikes, welcome to Hot Ones, the only show about talking about hot topics and eating hotter wings. Today we finally got our, our special guest, Liam, Liam Feeney. Would you like to introduce yourself any other way? Liam Feeney, also known as Liam Christ and the People's Champ. We got three sets of sauces today, three oh. questions, and then extra if you're feeling the last one isn't good enough. We've got some actual hot sauces. Drake last week requested that we got some hot Sauces. He's a little and daredevil, so ain't he? One of the new ones we're doing today is Dave's Gourmet Temporary Insanity. But we're going to start with Frank's Red Hot Original. What was that like? It's original. Yeah, you look at a hot sauce brand, it's like, ooh, that ain't packing no punch to it. Wait a minute. <laughs> How do you know a sauce packs punch then? It's, ooh, damn. I can't have that in, can we? You can. <laughs> okay. What's it called? It's like a beaver. Whenever I say it, I say like D-A-A-M, not D-A-M-N, you know? Oh, oh is, uh, no. It's related to a pretty recent speech uh -oh. President Biden gave and oh, that I liked a lot. Mm -hmm. And I thought it'd be pretty, pretty good to talk about it. So what's your view on um, transgenders in sports? I'd say it depends, really. Because like, there's a certain amount of testosterone they already have going into that, or like when they just take over competitions, I feel like, I don't know, if they should like have an own, uh, a league of their own, or if it, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's weird, it's, a, it's an odd topic. If you put like, if they're in the middle of the process of going through that transition, they're gonna have a lot more testosterone than a, than a, a biological woman would, you know, because they haven't completed the process. So that, that's when it gets a little, that's when it gets a little risky. No, I mean, damn, this is crazy. What was it called? I thought. No, I mean, but what's stopping from biological, as we say, woman from taking testosterone? Hmm? Is there anything? There's nothing stopping them, no. But, like, usually, like, things like that, because that's kind of like a drug, if you think about it. If you take, uh, like, I think it was some, it was a team in Korea in the Olympics, mm -hmm. and people were like, oh, they're a little too muscular. They ended up having to test them if they were doing steroids or nothing. But you don't hear about, oh, so-and-so got caught slipping by injecting testosterone into her biceps or something like that. You don't hear about that. But what you do hear about is this issue that we're currently talking about. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. I mean, yeah. and then going on with that, what do you think about them? I know Trump had a ban for any transgender wanting to join the military, and I thought that Oh, that's was stupid. Pretty, that's it, stupid. Yeah, it's, stu it's stupid. It's like, it's not a competition. You're not winning a trophy, you know what I mean? War is war, okay? So like, and they also, if they want to defend their country, they should, they should be gladly be able to defend their country. No matter if you're, what's it call it, a woman becoming a man or a man becoming a woman, it doesn't matter. If you have the capabilities of being a soldier, then you should be allowed to be a soldier. It doesn't, 
like it was a war. Oh yeah. Who cares in a war? You know oh. what I mean? As we go on to the next sauce, let's go into that topic of war. Oh, What's yeah. your idea of war? What my idea of war is? Just, just a pretty like not like what it is, but what is it? What does it mean to you? It's the pinning of two countries' working classes going against each other because the ruling classes of those countries have beef with each other, and that's really what it is if you think about it. This is a Tabanero extra hot hot sauce. All right. Next flavorful. wing. Next wing. Trade relations, wealth, all those things is usually put in the hands of the ruling class mm -hmm. and has nothing to do with the working class. But guess who fights those wars? The working class. The working class. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it was like, it's, like it's all. Since, we're the pawns on mm -hmm. a big chessboard. Basically, yeah, and it's easy to trick them too because. Who owns the media, the ruling class, you could spread propaganda easier to the working class. The <laughs> only few war where the working class is actually involved in the actual conflict and not the fighting is probably like revolutions. That's it. It's like we're spreading our influence in the Middle East just so we can strip them of their oil. Mm -hmm. right? Of the resources. And mm -hmm. once we have it all, we're out. We're not going to help them exactly. anymore. And we're so just so we can save a buck. Okay, well, we're going into a... We're going further into that topic, and so with that, hottest sauce yet. Hottest sauce we've had on the show. Let me hand you your milk. Ah! Can I get a new wing, nope. please? Nope. I don't. <laughs> then you get. Oh, yeah. No, 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 that no. counts, right? No, you're biting into a wing. Okay. Going into the stripping of resources, mm -hmm. furthermore, what do you think is that driving factor? It's capitalism. And, it's capitalism. You know, it that, went. that episode of SpongeBob when Squidward yeah. ate the Krabber Patty and he was all like, the little, the little teeth, little pinch. You know, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> this ain't even a tongue toucher, this is a throat puncher. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's in the throat. <laughs> it's like, dude, it's like trying to choke me out. Jesus Ow. Christ, is this. Am I hallucinating? Oh, it hurts so bad. It's not going oh, away. You're spazzing out, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. This is so bad. Dude, I'm gassed up like a forest fire right now, dude. Jesus Christ. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> All right, so. Ow. What is the main go What is the fruit of capitalism? Money. Okay. So. Wealth of the few. So. Work of the many. Exactly. I mean, it's all about innovation and all that. So. Mm. If, I'm, if you want to flip profit, the world is your, what's it called, it? your bagel, okay? Your oyster? Your oyster, exactly. So it's all about profit, and if we see a way to get profit, we're going to grab it by the balls and we're going to take it. Are you going to have that other milk? No, you're going to have it. I'm not, I haven't even drinking this first one. But what's it called? Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it hurts so bad. Oh, you're, uh, you're a little out there. Ow! It's not opening. Oh, you're all right. What was the question again? You know why you can't be big? Anyone can be big? Because you cannot have a capitalist without a workforce. If everybody's big, then who's working? You know what I mean? Who's working for the man? If everybody's the man. You know what I mean? So, it's that simple. What's it called? You look at me, things like a... Chessboard with no pawns. Exactly. You have, you have small cases of people leaving lower income areas and making it big. You rarely do. And you look at all the, the big billionaires that are on TV like Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, um, Steve Jobs. Guess where all they came from? They all came from money, okay? Tyrone from the hood has a slim chance of becoming Jeff Bezos. He's probably going to end up working for Jeff Bezos and barely be able to rise up the ranks in Amazon because he doesn't have the education because there wasn't a good enough funding in a school to give him a proper education. You know something funny about all the Jeff Bezos and all the, the big companies? Mm -hmm. um, Apple, Microsoft, the um, list goes on. But you know how they're saying they're all made in garages? Mm -hmm. A third of America, only a third of America has enough money to own a garage. Dang. See? That's a problem. It's a lack of redistribution of wealth to the working class. I'm so, basically, I forgot the question. Argument. Argument. All right. Well, I think that's a good place to stop. All right. <laughs> Thank you so you're, much. You're in pain, aren't you? That's what you're My lips. Oh, yeah.
thank you so much for coming on the show. We want you for a while. We finally got you. Mm -hmm. We had a great topic. This is probably some of the best discussion we've had on the show. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're glad to have you. Got anything else to say? What's it called? I don't know. What's, uh, what's that, that mean with the rat smoking a cigarette? Change the world. My final message. Goodbye. I hope everybody's having a great day. Thank you guys for watching um, episode 14. Um. So graduation's June 4th. As you may know, all of our seniors, you do get eight tickets. So choose wisely who you want to bring with you. Have a good summer, everybody. And I know it's not our last video, but I'm just, I want to include the aspect of summer because it's the only thing that's keeping some of us going. <laughs> no names, sorry. Just, just say. Nope, I'll be the one to admit it. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very true. Um, good luck getting through EOCs and exams and stuff. And we'll see y'all next time. Bye.